Well, hi friends. It's Wednesday, and that means that I get to share a new story with you. I'm so glad that we could be together for a few minutes today. I'm thinking today about words. You know words. You use words a lot. In fact, have you ever tried to go very long without using any words? It's hard. In order to communicate who we are, we have to use words somehow. Today's story is an invented story. That is to say, I'm not sure it's really real, but it helps me to understand some things. The story is called, When God Gave Us Words, and it's written by Sandy Eisenberg Sasso. I think you're going to really like the story and the pictures, and we can think about what words are for and how we use words. When God Gave Us Words. Pictures were drawn by Darcy Day Zoles. One day, God decided to give words to man and woman. But the angels objected. People will not know what to do with words. Words should belong only to angels. In this story, angels are painted like this. That's important to know. But God said, perhaps people will make something beautiful with words. Oh, nothing could be more wonderful than what we do with words, the angels insisted. People will just mess them up. But God was intent on hearing words from the mouths of women and men. So God filled the angels' sacks with words and sent the angels to earth to spread the words. In some sacks, God put long and difficult words like omniscient and anti-disestablishmentarianism. The angels frowned. People will never understand the meaning of these words. And it was so. Because of the long, difficult words, dictionaries were created. In other sacks, God put silly words like gibberish, goop, and gosh, in one sack, God placed all the words that were hard to spell, like hors d'oeuvres. People will never know how to spell those words, said the angels. And it was so. Because of the hard to spell words, God created spelling lists. Then God sent the angels to put words into the mouths of all the people, and the angels did as God commanded. When the angels returned from spreading the words, they sat down with God and listened. It took some time for the people to get accustomed to using words. Slowly, they let each word form in their mouths, carefully, they added one to another to another until they made sentences. When they got used to the words, oh, they talked and they talked and they talked until the angels shouted, Enough! But God wanted to hear more. Then people twisted and turned words and made lies. They rolled words in the wet earth until they were covered with mud and created 
curses. See those people talking. I think that's what they want curses to look like and lies. People mixed words with sharp thorns and gossip was born. The angel shouted, stop! What a mess people are making with our words. And God regretted giving words to man and woman. That, that means God felt sorry that he gave words to man and woman. And God was about to send the angels to earth to take back all the words when God heard a new sound. People stirred soft music into words and sang lullabies. Words were mixed with dance and poetry was born. People joined laughter to words and told jokes. And the angels smiled and said to God, Some of these jokes are very funny and some are just silly. And it was so. For the silly jokes, God created groans. And for the truly funny jokes, God just laughed. People wrote wor mixed words with midnight and wrote mysteries. When the angels listened to the mysteries, their wings trembled. People wove longing, thanksgiving, and hope into words and offered prayer. Imagination and words were joined together and then there were stories. The angels listened and were enchanted. God asked the angels if they still wanted to gather all the words and bring them back to heaven. The angels remembered the lies and the curses and the gossip that people had made with the words. Nevertheless, the angels did not want to take back the words. They loved the songs and the poetry that people had created. They giggled at the jokes and cried during prayers. We must hear the end of the stories the people are telling, the angels pleaded. And it was so. People were allowed to keep the gift of words for the sake of of stories. That's the end of this book that's called When God Gave Us Words. I hope that it helps you to think a little bit about words in your life today. I use words a lot and I'm trying to get better at using words that are good words and helpful words. Words like please or thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. There are so many beautiful words that we can share. Maybe today you'll think about some special words. Maybe you can think of a joke to tell someone to make them laugh. Or a song you can sing to someone to make them feel better inside. I'm Pastor Dave, and I'm so glad I could share some words with you today. And I hope you have some great words to share with someone else. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.